whole story and all I have to say is drop the guns the guns and do something good in life so you will not get hurt show something to the people Hi, my name is Marquis Clark and I'm a Hope Stars member. I came here to talk about the crimes and stuff that been happening in Delaware and if I was president I would change all of it. All I would do is I go to the nearest school. We will all the whole weekend Hope Star will go to the nearest school and we will go help people, read books, tell stories and others. Then I will stop bullying and I will stop the gun shooting and all that's happening. We can make a change if we all join hands. My motto is YOLO. You only live once. Hi, my name is Tanisha Wiley. I'm a Hope Star member and I oversee the Glam Divas. I think that we should open a community center for the teenagers so that way they can stop the violence and increase the peace. I think that if we do this, we're going to get children off the streets. I think it'll be good because everybody will have something to do. Stop. Um, hi, my name is Jamel. I'm a Hope Star member and um, Today, I want to talk about how the uh, education in uh, down in the Newark district is. Uh, me coming from further south from Smyrna, when I came here, I noticed how the teachers they, they didn't have as much effort to give to the students like they did, like they do down south. Like in Smyrna, you might think those teachers were being mean or rude, but when you ca when I came down here, I realized those teachers they were doing that because that without that, there wouldn't be any control. And without that control, the teachers wouldn't be able to give um, their effort to help our, to help the students so that they could get good grades, so they could have a better future. And, um, yeah. My name is Brian Tucker. I'm one of the Hope Stars. Um, today I'm here to talk about um, more along the lines of how the streets right now is just absolutely crazy. You can't go outside without worrying about getting shot. Next thing you know, officers are getting shot. Um, police officers are kind of crazy get arrested for nothing. I got arrested for looking like somebody. Besides that, there are positive things like, you know, like after school programs such as 4-H or Metro Metropolitan Urban League, things that help benefit young youth and Hope Stars can actually help even expand that more. Okay. Hi, my name is Kiana and I'm a Hope Star member. And today, all I want to say is drop the guns because like two days ago, my eye could still die and it wasn't funny to lose somebody could real close to me. So just the guns, rest in peace, I'm Crystal. Hi, my name is Nancy Rowe Jr. I'm a Hope Star member, and I do modeling and fashion, and I feel so like kids that's under the age should always do, like, they should always dress, not never stress, whatever. And I feel so like it's more confidence when I'm out on the runway and stuff like that. And I don't really worry about a lot of stuff. I'm getting into a lot of trouble or anything because I'm mostly into like like fashion or worry about stuff like what I do. And like I tell everybody like, they should follow like their dream, their hobbies and whatever they're interested in because it's always good to follow your dreams, don't let nobody out. Like I had somebody tell me before that uh, I can't I'm not gonna graduate from high school and when I the day of graduation and backstage the man who told me I wasn't gonna graduate, he saw me and he was like, congratulations, I thought you were never gonna make it. And I told him to shake my hand because I felt that that was rude and disrespectful for a grown man to tell a younger youth that he's not going to graduate and succeed in life. And I proved him wrong and everybody was telling me that I did the right thing and I just left it as that. And that's it. Hi, my name is Brandy, and I'm a Hope Star member. I grew up in Wilmington all my life, and it's not always been great. It, um, being in school and stuff really helped me, and finding Zignation actually applied to my first job. I'm thankful, and it's helping me stay off the streets. My name is Trang May Bowman. Um, I'm from Vietnam. Um, I um, I was born and raised there and stuff. And if I can prevent, I'm from the Hope Star program. If I can prevent more to the co my country, there should be more orphanage or support like government and stuff because there's no government support and all that stuff. There's no homes for the, for the homeless people, no nothing. So yeah, that's, that's my. Hi, I'm Selwyn Johnson. I'm a Hope Star member. And 
And I want to talk about with y'all today, when we're all together, the crime rates, the shootings, the robbery, the violence. I know what's going on with I know what's going on with it. We need more music, we need more schooling educations. And college is getting so expensive out here. We gotta pay college brands, gotta pay the loans back. Why is that doing that? And we could just have and we could have like a have like a free community school college learn lesson or maybe have more music, art, whatever, activity have more art activities. Now that I would do it, I was mayor and and just and just have more daycare for the kids so they're gonna be outside in the streets, more shelter for the homeless more church programs so people can be off, be out of trouble, not doing drugs and just and just being good. Just to make the world a better place. And for the people who are having issues and problems, just just have more programs to help them out with their issues, anger management, drug issues, whatever like that. Hi, my name is Zayer. I'm a host stars member. Most people that do dumb stuff from no type of reason and don't stay in school do drugs like kids starting to do drugs, families, people that get bullied every day, some, and don't they tell, don't tell just because the person, it's hard to realize that bullies is a Around us, most people that. Cool. My name is Nye. I'm a Hope Star member. And the crime rate is so high. So if I was the mayor, I would make more teen community centers and more activities, more sports, more like just building so that people like more can we create more jobs. Like um, just keep people out of the way, basically. People need more stuff to do. You got more stuff to do that can keep you more motivated, more focused to get it to a higher level, success, succeed, and all that. Hi, my name is Sine Tucker. I'm with Zig Nation, and I'm in the program for the radio station. We will talk about the rip. Now, I could talk about a six-year-old who got shot in the back of the head at the park from a straight bullet, or I could talk about the young man who had potential but got shot because he shot the wrong person. But I ain't gonna talk about that because. When it comes down to it, Wilmington has the best things for you. We have an all-black high school, the first one ever made, Howard High School. And then on top of that, we're Wilmington, we celebrate creativity. We celebrate it. Every year we have a Clifford Brown Jazz Festival. And we have so we have an excellent art school, DCAD, art school for people who aspire to do better than what they do. Wilmington is not about the violence. It is not about the drugs that get sold every day and every minute. Wilmington is about the young students like me who inspire you to do better with their lives. I go to Howard High School. I come to the jazz festivals. My mom, she used to work at an art college. So I am here. I am the living proof that, yes, Wilmington has its ups and downs, but guess what? I'm writing all up. My name is K. Hi, my name is K. One. Um, I'm a whole star member, and I'm age 11. I'm gonna talk about crime and what you need to do. Most people that um, that do crime or drugs, they probably their friend in school. Do, um, in school, do crime really, everything that do crime, like rob a bank or kill other people. Um, they probably didn't finish school. If you didn't, didn't if you didn't, don't want kids to do drugs or crime, pick, um, pick kids in um, Zig Nation. Hi, my name is Sharita Durr, and I'm a Hope Star. I'm talking about um, how I feel as though teachers don't really care about kids and their grades and their futures. They only care when it comes to like testing and like when it reflects on them. That's when they want to teach you the hardest. They actually want to be there for you because. When I'm like, if I'm failing, they won't tell me till like last minute. But if it's to test for testing, and it reflects on them and their jobs, then they'll put their whole, that like, they'll put their life on the line because that's their jobs and it reflects on us. So I feel as though they need to be like preparing us for like future stuff. Like, okay, we graduate, you got us there, but what's next? Like, they need to teach us about actual stuff that happens in college. Like, 
how the teachers are and stuff like that in college. And I feel as though, like, they need to prepare us for, like, they need to teach us about real life stuff, like, the wars and stuff, and, like, stuff that really matter. Like, I feel as though they should teach us about, like, stuff like gay pride and stuff and how people react to that and stuff like that. Because it's important because it's real life stuff and we need to know about that. Like, I mean, you go and help us get somewhere, but how are we going to do it? Like, you need to care more. My name is Dante Jordan, I'm a Hope Star member, and I just want to talk to y'all about the criminal rates and how kids should stay in school to be successful in life and to get education. The current rates in the city is too high, and we the community can change that. We can have more events to help the community, and we can help the kids stay in school and go to college to get a good education, to grow to be anything they want to be in life and be successful in life. We can have more events for teens so teens can stay off the streets and not do drugs and be positive in life. That's all I wrote. Hi, my name is Amir Warren and I'm, and I'm in a hope store program. I live in Wilmington, Delaware, and there's no place to go like the YMCA and the Boys and Girls Club that doesn't cost money based on your parents' salary. That's why kids are running the street and you know, are most likely to end up in and get end up dead or in jail. That's all I had. Hi, my name is Keisha. I'm a story member. And if I was in there, I'd um, make a program for um, kids in summer so they don't have to be in the streets. And for like school, I would have like teach kids what do they want to be when they grow up and stuff. And And the crimes in Wilmington, the crimes in Wilmington is not safe for young kids. Cause my cousin Anthony died at 16 years old, and I want the kids that's younger than me to stay off the streets. Hi, my name is Ronisha. I am a part of the Hope Star program, but I am here to talk about how I feel about the community. But one question: Why are there the, so much violence? Why do people take people's lives away? That point does not make people who are dying every day so I think you are I think you people should just drop their violence and guns so people could feel safer. Hi, my name is Majai Ginsa. I'm part of the whole stars program. I'm here to talk about my community, how I don't feel safe in my community. Why is it why don't I feel safe in my community? I like to go to parties and stuff, but I have to go in the house early because there's, I'm scared of shootings and stuff. And so I just think people should drop their violence and guns and stuff because I don't feel safe in my neighborhood. Hi, my name is Mary. I'm a member of the Hope Star program. Today I'm going to talk about education. Educa education is important in life because without your education, you'll be on the streets. and. When you're on the streets, you don't got no job, and all you can do is sell, sell drugs. And your only choice is to get locked up or get, or, or killed. So if you don't get your education, then you will be on the streets. Hi, my name is Maya, and I'm a whole star member, and I want to talk about violence. The world need to stop doing violence because every day somebody getting killed, and people writing about their children getting killed and stuff. Hi, my name is Ronnie. I'm a host star member. Okay. I would like to see all of the shooting to stop because that's not what that pissed away. And lately, a lot of people have been getting killed. And I think it's time for you to put the guns down. My name is Zach Avia. I'm a host star member, and I'm talking about education. With school education, you need to stay in school and stay in college. It's not you would not get a job. A uh, uh, money job is not you going to stay on cutting grass. Hi, my name is Marquise Wilson, and I'm a host star member. Just last week, a friend of mine got shot and killed as he was walking to the store, minding his own business. I believe that violence is getting worse as the days go on and as the community help us stop it. My name is Corey Wilson, also known as Nick Styles, that's my stage name. I'm a Hope Star member, and today we'll be talking about crime in the 302, also known as Wilmington Delaware. And I would like to say that there are children who live out here 
with prostitutes, crackheads, and kids in front of their house. And it's crazy because, you know, they go out here and they're just promoted and they're brought on to all this negativity in the world. And love is in need of love today and nobody's there to give them love. So now they're breeding hatred. The education system here is just so screwed up that they're lost souls. And they feel that their soul is worth iPhones and fast cars and they don't know the worth of their selves. So it's, it's weird you know, to sit here and watch these things. I actually prepared a piece for this and I forgot it because you know, the thought that I had was so deep about these things. I mean, when you walk down the street and you have a nine year old stick you up and you realize that he can tell you the lyrics to every song that's about everything negative in the world and can't tell you the last book he read in school, that's food for thought. Hi, my name is Avery Short. I'm a whole star. And I'm just talking to you about, you know, women's and crime rate and education. First of all, you know, the crime rate in the city is going high. We got shootings every every other day. You know, many, many people, are innocent people dying out here on the streets, you know. It's hard out here. You know, we gotta, you know, get the, get the kids, you know, in, you know, a lot more kids off the street, off the block, you know, getting them in the schools, you know, getting the education, you know. Maybe start some programs around the neighborhoods. Because for real, you know, all this drama out here on the street is, is, is senseless, especially on, a, on, on a, we like one of the number one cities that's getting to the crime rate of shootings like every day. You know, we got West Side, East Side, North Side, South Bridge. It's all crazy out here. And the education for the kids, kids are dropping out of school. That's not the, that's not the look. You got to get your education, graduate, you know, and get your job on the side because the, the street life is no good. And the education for the kids is dropping out, it's no good. So basically what we gotta do is get this city and everybody up around together and start, you know, a good community program or something, you know? My name is Buffett Wingfield and I'm a Hope Star staff. Um, I just, I don't know, like, it's crazy because I, I can talk about education, violence, I mean, but I'm more or less trying to help the kids. So, like, I try to find something that they're interested in, and, you know, and use that to motivate them to succeed, you know? Whether that be music, art, uh, drama, whatever, whatever. You know, just whatever they're interested in, dance, whatever. And use that to teach them or show them something positive other than the negativity that's around her. Hi, my name is Brandy. I'm a Hope Star staff member, and I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit about how education and crime really go hand in hand. Cause a lot of kids that doesn't that didn't go get their education or dropped out usually go to the streets for guidance. And guidance in the streets is not good, you know, cause you end up either using drugs, um, or going to jail, or end up dead. Um, I have a lot of friends and family that have been, you know, lost to the streets, whether they're incarcerated or six feet under. And I feel as though a lot of that stuff could have been prevented if there was more programs and more activities for the youth to do inner city. A lot of free things, because everybody don't have the money to send their kids to the Y or, you know, or whatever programs that they have. They do have programs out there, but they're costly, especially when you have more than one kid. And I do have children and I try to keep them occupied. Um, and I, I, oh, another thing I feel as though, like as far as sports and stuff like that, a lot of that should be, you know, cheaper or if, if they had more nonprofit organizations to let kids get into the uh, athletics or, modeling or fashion you know they do have um, barbazon and things like that but they're all costly if it was more opportunities for um for the children the inner city youth or people that wasn't or that are not as um fortunate to afford those things a lot of i think a lot of the crime and stuff would go down because a lot of the kids will be able to reach their goals or their dreams if it was more accessible financially. I think that's a big, big, big problem, you know, for us as parents. We want our kids to do positive things, but at times we can't afford them, you know. The job market, um, the economy, a lot of things are messed up. So I think if things were more 
that's financially accessible to people that aren't as fortunate to afford the things. I think a lot of the crime will go down and education um, rate will go up. You know, I mean, people, their kids will graduate and go on to college and pursue their dreams, whether they want to be doctors, lawyers, nurses, whatever. Um, I, I think it's more or less that. So. Hi, my name is Tanai Rye. I'm a Hope Starts member. People down here is dropping out of school because they can't get their education because there's too much bullying going on. We need to enforce the learning environment and make the schools better. Hi, I'm Adele. Um, I'm a Hope Star member. And, um, I teach dance instructing. Um, I think that we should get more kids off the streets and also inside of a type of place where they can learn dancing because I teach lovely dancing to the kids. And I hope you all will put your kid in there because the streets are getting bad and just get the kids off the streets because shooting, violence is going on and that shouldn't be for those kids. So come to my place and I make dance trucking the best thing your kid ever had. Hi, my name is Kier. I am a Hope Star member, and I would like to talk about crime, which I feel as though is a big place in Wilmington today, because everywhere you go is crime right here, crime right there, killings here, killings there, and I feel as though we have more programs like Hope Stars, we would have some for our people to get into today. So, if we can like get ourselves out there and roll into these programs, I feel as though it can help a lot of people in our struggle today. And the economy is bad right now, but we could get that all together by sticking together and getting into societies and programs that can benefit us in the long run. Hi, my name is Precious. I'm a Hope Star member. And one of the things I think is bad in Wilmington is that we fighting and killing each other when we should all just come together. And one of the things that can help us better ourselves and better the community is the aviation. Hi, my name is Shimon Crawford. I'm a Hope Stars member. Um, and I would like to talk about crime and, and like, violence in Wilmington. Like, it's, um, most of the crime is uh, killing and shooting with the teens. And like, some, of, some of my friends got locked up for guns and stuff. I know a lot of people that I was cool with that dropped out of school and they in jail right now. But um, uh, a lot of the violence is coming from teens now, and um, most teens around my age, like 16, 17, 18, and um, it's for killing other teens. Hi, my name is Kayani Rollins. I'm a Hope Star member of Wilmington, Delaware, and 
uh, the thing I want to talk about is school and education. Things that we do like go to go to school and get our education, crimes, and our safety, and other things. They are all important to us. The thing, the thing I want to talk about is school and getting our education. School is very important. It is very healthy for our. Um, is very healthy for our education. But when I say when I say school is fun, cause it teach is is teaching us about a lot of things. But when I talk about school, a lot of kids say that school is not fun. But fun, it just teaches about dumb stuff. That I don't want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear that it, school is educational and fun. Getting our education is very important because it's not a game. Education is very healthy for our brains. It's it makes us very smart at grades that we are are moving up to each year. For the right for right now, I will save a lot of money so I can go to college and get more knowledge. Education is the future in our lives. Hi, my name is Mr. Crawford. I'm a host I remember living in Wilmington. Sometimes you fear going outside because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know you will come back home. And the only thing that's supposed to keep you out of the streets is school, but don't nobody going to go to school because the teacher's not helping you. And you feel like you're going to fail in life. And I just really feel like we need to change that. Stop killing everybody. Hi, my name is Janice. I'm a host star member. And today I want to talk about crime. I feel as though if there was more activities and parties and pools around for the kids, they'd stay out the streets and do better. And then education-wise, if they stay in school, they get a job that can go for their life. And if we get more think activities and stuff for the kids to do, I feel as though they'd stay out the streets and they'll lessen the crime rate, and then kids get impregnated and doing drugs. Hi, my name is Nadeja. I'm a whole star member, of, and I want to talk to you about the crime. The crime situation is getting real bad, where there's no cops around, and people are getting killed. If we had more entertainment for kids and adults, maybe we won't have the people who kill and do all this extra stuff for no reason and all that. Hi, my name is Khadija Brown, and I am a Hope Star member, and I wanted to talk about education in jail. Education is very good. You can get many places for education. It's not good to drop out because there's no way to get in life. Drugs is very bad. It, it's bad for your lungs and it's bad for your body, and many things can cause from that. And and I know everybody keeps saying education. Everybody keeps saying education is good. Education don't drop out, but it's the real truth because if you just drop out, you're not gonna get nowhere in life. You're just gonna be laying around in the streets like everybody else is, and that's not good. If you want to be somewhere in life, just go out there and get it and get your education and find something to do. And I think, I think school should like have more fun about about like education more. Not it don't, it don't have to be like real fun and stuff, but like it can have meanings of it and stuff like that. Hi, my name is Dana. I hope you remember. Since the crime rate is high, if I was the mayor, I would make more community centers for teenagers and adults so we can make it better for the neighborhoods, maybe make more jobs for people, stuff like that. Hi, I'm Anasha. I'm a Hope Star member, and I'm here to talk about education. Without education, people in the streets would be nothing. That's why teenagers are getting killed. They go to guns. They resort to drugs because they had no home training because they didn't finish school. And without finishing school, you can't make no money. You can't get a job. You can't do nothing in life. So school is very important. That's the that's the lead to killing and wanting. My name is Nasir Collins, and I'm a Hope Star member. There are way too many crimes being committed, and the main crimes are murders and drug dealing. We need a lower crime rate and get young male and female teens off the streets. Us as teens need to stay in school, work, 
and recycle. Basically, be a leader of your community. Step up and take part in helping out the community. Our parents expect us to be better than them, and that's not that hard if we actually strive to be successful. Hi, my name is Andre Williams, and I'm a Hope Star member. The streets of the city of Wilmington are out of control. People are getting shot and killed for nothing. Every day, so much child mom or dad are dying. So much child can't even go outside to play without worrying about getting snatched up or getting hit by a stray bullet. They need to just put the guns down because of all the killings are nothing. They're just, they're just sensitive acts of violence that need to stop. If everyone just stops killing people, the city will be a better place for everyone. Hi, my name is Tyrese and I'm a Hope Star member. And I feel as though the crime in the state of Delaware has gotten worse. I feel as though it has been hurting a lot of people, hurting their families, um, and it can be changed if people change it. I feel as though the police officers need to be on the job more. Uh, maybe if there was more things to do for us teens, such as maybe um, teen night or maybe positive teen party, such things like that, the crime wouldn't be as bad as it is now. Maybe a curfew for the kids that are younger and 